What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch. We're back today with a whole new series. Look, all the support tickets seem to have pretty simple questions that we can teach people really easily, but apparently that information's just not around. So we're creating a brand new series called Skid School. We're gonna teach you how to do all the super simple stuff, the easy, fast, and the right way. Today, we're gonna cover installing Python and Git in PowerShell. It's super simple, super easy, so sit back, relax, Skid School's in session. All right, step one, installing Python. Easiest thing in the world. Go ahead, open PowerShell. That's PowerPlan, no. That's PowerShell. Make it not stupidly big. We can do that just easily. Type in Python. Enter. It's going to pull up the Windows App Store. Install. Depending upon how long, or how long, how fast your internet is, will depend how long this stuff takes. It's only 39 meg. For me, it takes no time at all. It's going to go ahead and install right away. And then there it is. P-Y-T-H-O-N. Enter. We have Python in a terminal. Fantastic. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and install git. Get out of X, it's out of Python. Control Z, stop, get out of here. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and type this little uh, codelet, which you can see down in the description, and press enter. This is gonna automatically install git on your system using PowerShell. All you gotta do is sit back and watch it go. There you go, it's done. Now one thing to note, you do have to restart PowerShell in order to make Git work, so we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll just go ahead, open PowerShell backup. We can navigate into our Flipper firmware and run the updater package for the compiler, just to show that everything's working as it should. Give it a second, and yep, it's compiling. Super simple, super easy. This is how you install Python on Git. Takes two seconds. Literally almost every ticket that we have in the Discord is something to do with Python or Git. In some way or another, it always seems to boil down to Python or Git. But it's super easy to do. That's how it's done. Thanks for watching. Skid School dismissed.